without power around Metro Detroit. And this is sort of a county breakdown, not specific numbers, but you see highly concentrated, more populated areas, more utilities, and the numbers are a little higher through Macomb, Oakland, and Wayne counties, and fewer outages uh, in many of our suburbs. Uh, but areas up in Genesee County seeing some issues. The rain totals Super impressive. This is a radar estimate of the last 24 hours, and you can see parts of Livingston, Oakland counties up into Sanilac County, uh, an inch and a half to about two and a half or more inches. We'll say one and a half to three inches for much of our north west zone and north zone, while most of us around Metro Detroit didn't see quite so much. But Hopefully you got a half an inch or a little more on the grass and garden. Tracking this shower moving out of Battle Creek and it is moving into the Jackson area here in the next you know, 20 minutes or so, moving about 40 miles an hour. Non-severe, but there are a couple of showers out there on radar. Temps are in the lower 70s right now and through the day we're going to keep the umbrellas handy. We're not canceling any plans outdoors, but this afternoon especially we'll see some spotty rain isolated thunder showers with 83 degrees and we have this cool front that will most likely kind of set up as a stationary front and again from noon until about 5 p.m. I think our best window for those scattered rain isolated thunder showers lingering clouds tomorrow and get ready for a warm weekend with a better shot for showers late Sunday and Kim, I mentioned Monday, man, we're back to work. A lot of folks on the road and the models are calling for a super soaker Monday. So we'll see.